Stuff your face with that pizza, you dirty hippo. Hey everybody, Sniper Lazeman here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Alright, so in the last episode there, we, uh, well, we discovered that the Black Knight is, in fact, Penelope. Huge shocker there. I won't go into any more detail because I'm still kind of, I don't know. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Uh, so we did that and we just, and we made a, uh, I guess an explosive material. In medieval times, don't know how that makes sense, but anyways, let's commence Operation Mousetrap. Alright troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable, but we've got to come up with a plan, so I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. All right, then. Wait, Murray, how can you be underwater? Okay. All right, then, that's... <laughs> but how does that work? You get damaged when you touch water. Forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallant, wait! Why, thank you, Gallant. I've been looking all over for that. <laughs> she is making her escape! I don't think so. Jeez. Alright, let's hurry up over there. You can't me, Sly. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do. Let loose the fury of your Okay, bow. interesting. Got you through. Alright, go, go, go. There we go. Go, go. Nice. Yeah, Penelope, not really a good, uh, you know, plan to put big green glowing dots on, on the outside of your machine saying, hey, shoot this. Alright, did the other one. Yeah, through that hole. There we go. So, uh, so how's everybody doing, actually? I I know I've been asking that the last couple episodes, but, yeah, you know, always interesting how people are. Not that really, like, I, I don't know. Not that really any, anybody would really, uh, really, really care. Well, I don't know. Alright, let's hit the center view. That's right. No, no, no. Man, things are literally impossible to dodge. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, up here. And go through there. Go, go. <laughs> now you got one, only one arm left, Penelope. I don't think you can do too much of that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you like a 
Jesus. Alright, take down your other arm. I will say, for, for, for being like, you know, the fourth, uh, fourth episode boss, probably the easiest so far. Which I find it odd. It's usually it gets harder, or somewhat harder, the further you go in, but as of right now, this is so far the easiest boss. Oh, you think those little small holes are gonna bother me? No. Not at all. Oh crap. You have any idea what that suit was worth? It was one of a kind. You cost me too much already, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. What? Bentley, your suit is that my my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it anyway? The design was adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh. Bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most <laughs> valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential! Together, we could change the world! But you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now! You're his puppet! And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official! Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do! It's time to cut some strings for good! Okay... All right, so let's uh, let's beat the crap out of her right now. I think we, she deserves it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on, come on. You'll have to do better than that. No. How do you keep getting behind me? All right. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Watch it. Jeez, that damn dodge move. Okay, wait, wait. There we go. Ha! I put, I figured your moves your out now. No, nope. I dodged. Cheap shot. Oh jeez, I'm probably. You she's all, she's only at half health, and I'm I'm down to basically one or two more hits. Looks like oh, I just voided your warranty. No, no. Super. Oh jeez, so close, so close. No! I dodged! Oh my god, come on, come on. Okay, this is the next punch. Oh, yes! No? Okay, okay, go, go, go. Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? 
Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. Oh yeah, job complete. Uh, don't worry about her, Bentley. You can do better. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim Al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him. Which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley. And we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. <laughs> We'd traveled to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy their golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al Kupar for some time. He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves, but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out. Sly Cooper and the gang in... 40 Thieves. All right, all right. So, uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, obviously, well, not not too much really happened in the episode, obviously. So, but uh, so next time we will uh, jump into Lost and Found with Sly, and uh, try to find uh, Salim Al Kupar. So uh, for Sly, Bentley, Murray, and Carmelita, we are signing off.